Hi, I'm Enrico Penales. And I am Ryan Lancelera Sloche. And we will have a discussion about ions towards nature's numbers, broken symmetry. Before we jump up to what broken symmetry is, let us learn of what symmetry is, Enrico. Well, according to Alan Stewart, symmetry is both a mathematical and an aesthetic concept. It allows us to classify and distinguish between different types of regular patterns. Now Ryan, I got a question. Is symmetry the same as broken symmetry? Good question, Enrico. It's a yes, at the same time a no. Symmetry is a lot more distinguishable and more regular. Broken symmetry, also known as symmetry breaking, it is a more dynamic idea. Rather than regularity of the patterns, broken symmetry is describes the changes in the patterns. You are right, Ryan. There are actually a lot of types of symmetry according to Ian Stewart, but we will only discuss about the most notable ones which are the reflections, the rotations, and the translations. First is the reflection symmetry. Also known as the bilateral symmetry is when the other half pattern is the same as the other half. Also, you can call this the mirror effect. Next is the rotation or radial symmetry. It is the turning action of the object. According to Ian Stewart, in order to rotate an object in the plane, a point called the center must exist. The object will not turn about that center, and as it turns, it does not change its structure. And lastly, translation symmetry. It is a particular transition or movement of an object to another location without changing its pattern. Physicist named Pierre Curie, together with his wife Marie Curie, stated that effects are as symmetrical as their causes. But Stewart, however, stated on his book that not a lot of effects are as symmetrical as their causes, and this phenomenon is known as spontaneous symmetry breaking. It is a spontaneous process of the breaking of symmetry wherein a physical system in a symmetric state ends up being in an asymmetric state. But Ryan, do you ever wonder where those symmetries come from? This was explained on page 77 of the book that by tossing a pebble on a steel pan, you will see patterns, ripples, and circular waves moving away from the object of the pebble. And we can easily see that the cause of the ripples was the pebble. Stewart claims that the symmetries we observe in nature are broken traces of the grand universal symmetries of our mass produced universe. This explains why we see different patterns around us. The Russian chemist Belusov discovered a chemical reaction that spontaneously formed patterns from nothing. Another Russian chemist, Zabotinsky, modified Malusov's experiment so patterns can also be formed at space. In their experiments together form a name called belusov zabotinsky reaction, or BZ reaction for short. Ending this chapter, Stuart made us realize that the most basic form of pattern formation is the same as the pattern formation of symmetry breaking. A new perspective of symmetry was presented to us through this chapter of the book. Thanks to Stuart, we were able to see the world in the eyes of a mathematician. Even the smallest aspect keeps the world go around. Even life itself is a process of symmetry breaking. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.